Welcome back to another Race Breakdown. I'm Kevin Selly, and today we're going to be looking at Natalie Cook winning the 3200 at the UIL Championships. That's the Texas State Meet 6A race, and in the process, Cook runs the second fastest 3200 by a high school girl in history, just behind Caitlin Tui's mark. And I want to talk a little bit throughout this video just about what Cook has accomplished this year because it is remarkable. And as expected in this race, she goes right to the front, pushes the pace. And one thing that's going to be so impressive is the fact that really no competition for Cook. When you're at that level competing against high school athletes, it's tough to find people, even at the state championships, who can run as fast as you. And she's going to do it on a day where the conditions aren't that great either. But this first lap ends up being her fastest lap of the entire 3200 and within 200 meters she's already broken this thing wide open and it's clear that it's just a race for second place at this point as Cook has a big advantage on the rest of the field and you can see real watch this the flag here that the officials holding up just goes to show you how windy it was in Austin on the track that morning they ran it in the morning so it definitely wasn't in the middle of the Texas sun, but still not ideal conditions, not the conditions like she ran in uh, when she ran the Stanford Invitational and ran that 5,000. As I mentioned, this was the fastest lap of her race. Let's pull up the splits right now. Uh, you can see right there. So she was 69.37 through 400. She's already got four plus seconds on the rest of the field. Let's talk about Cook's season as a whole. So cross country, she swept both national titles. Indoors, she runs phenomenally. In the one race, she appears indoors. She moves up to number two uh, all time in the two mile. Then we get to the outdoor season. She breaks that 5,000 meter high school record. And then in the 3200 here, she wins going away and moves to number two all time. So outdoors, she's behind only Caitlin Tui. And then indoors, she's only behind Mary Kane. So just the perfect season for Natalie Cook. She also won the 1600 at this meet as well, as the gap just continues to grow and grow and grow. Let's switch over again to those splits. So this one's going to be 73, and she evens them out here. We'll get the mile split coming up. Let's fast forward a bit to get her 1600 meter split. There she is on the back stretch as she just pours it on. This is a familiar sight going back to cross country uh, in the fall. And cross country, you expect those bigger margins than, than this. People can stay a little more connected on the track. But here she is going through the first mile right at 450.12. So at that point, she's on 940 pace. She's on pace to completely smash to his mark. But as you can see, a lot of that was done with that first 400. And then now she's settling to 73 highs. And then she's eventually going to creep up to 74s and 75 second laps. Let's keep it going. I also want to talk about the progression from Natalie Cook because coming into this year, her two mile PB, 3200 meter PB, was 1012. She ran 1012. Now, as a freshman, 1024. Then 2020, strange season, 1016. Then down to 1012. And then this year, jumping 20 seconds from 1012 all the way down to, to 952. And that was heading into this race. Remember, she's going to go even quicker than that. She's going to run this 948. So just a huge jump up in performance for Cook from junior year to senior year. Because if you go back to junior year and you look, she was not winning every single race. She was fourth in this race last year, 1032 in the mile. And she got sixth in her area championships. So this has been a big improvement for Cook over the last year. There's been stories written, obviously, she's a very low mileage runner. Whatever they have, it's definitely worked because she's already down to 948 from being well above 10 last year. She continues to cruise through this two mile, this coronation and Maybe she was at this point thinking about what was to come later on because, as I mentioned, she's going to go win the mile in 440. And the Texas State meet, they have a, a bit of a break. They run that two mile early on in the day. So if you look at the, the meet schedule 
for 6A. They have the 3200, 6A, 930 AM, and then she doesn't have to run the 1600 until 7.50 p.m., so quite a big break in between those things. So I think that allowed her to, to press even more because she knew she wasn't going to need to come back in an hour or two like is the case in some of these other state championships. I'm going to fast forward it again to this to the 3K split because that's notable just to, as a point of comparison because some states don't run 3,200. They run 3,000. Obviously, Cook herself – has a fast 3,000 meter split from indoors that I want to compare to. So she's going to hit the mark right there, about 9.12 on the clock. So how does that match up when you just look at her her PBs? Show sure, that New Balance indoor race where they had the 3,000 meter split, 9.08. So that was a little quicker. Again, much different race than this. Conditions much quicker, just more conducive to to fast running in that race, more people around her, obviously. And then you look at the all-time list, right? They have Kane at 8.58, Ephraimson at 9 flat. But given the wind, given the conditions, this is still a very good run. Setting records, moving up into all-time list. That's just basically how she has spent her entire season. Going to go to Oklahoma State next year where, obviously, she'll be able to compete at that next level as she takes her final strides and she's going to be just outside that all-time mark she'll stop the clock there at 9 48 let's look at where that matches up all time so 947.8 was Tui's mark so cook just off that but such an impressive display here a wire-to-wire -wire win in windy conditions with no competition pushing her along the way. So just a sensational race for Natalie Cook at those UIL championships. We'll see what she has in store for the rest of the outdoor season. That's it for this race breakdown. Be sure to subscribe to the Flow Track YouTube page for more. We'll talk to you guys next time.